In 1911, modern-day Turkey and many of its neighboring regions were under the Ottoman Empire and were being ruled by the Sultan. Apart from the Muslims, the Ottoman Empire included the Christians and the Jews who were protected under Ottoman law in exchange for loyalty to the state and payment of the jizya tax. The relevance of Christianity in the Ottoman Empire was significant as two of the five centers of Christianity, the Constantinople and Antioch, were in Turkey. the other centers being rome alexandria and jerusalem even before the 20th century various factions and groups had emerged within christianity one among them was the syriac orthodox church established in antioch but which later shifted its base to damascus in syria the head of the syriac orthodox church was called the patriarch of antioch and the ottoman empire had control over who could become the patriarch In 1903 the Ottoman Sultan deposed the then patriarch of Antioch Abdet Messi II and instead placed Abdet Aloho II as the patriarch The reasons as to why Abdet Messi was replaced with Abdet Aloho are different based upon whose supporters you ask This replacement of a head of a church in the Ottoman Empire was to be seen as a trivial affair and was meant to be forgotten in history but that was not to be A hundred years later its consequences are still being felt thousands of kilometers away from Turkey in the Indian state of Kerala. This is the story of a hundred year old dispute between the Jacobite and the Orthodox factions of the Malangara Church of Kerala. Before the dispute the Syriac Orthodox Church was very well established in Kerala. It was known as the Malangara Church and a person called the Metropolitan looked after the entire Malangara Church and its people. and owed his allegiance to the patriarch of Antioch in 1908 the new patriarch Abdet Aloho II ordained Mar Givergis Dionysius who would later be known as Dionysius VI and Mar Kurilos Paulos as metropolitan designates all was going well between the patriarch and the church followers until the patriarch asked Dionysius VI to register papers stating that the patriarch held temporal authority over the church and its possessions This created fear in the Malangara church that he would attempt to take control of the church and its innumerable wealth. When Dionysius refused to agree to the demands of the patriarch, he was dismissed from the church. This marked the beginning of the schism in church when roughly half of the diocese eventually sided with Dionysius. A year later in 1912, the deposed patriarch Messi supported Dionysius and helped in creating an independent catholicate separate from the patriarch of Antioch. While the new denomination became the Orthodox Syrian Church, the former one came to be known as the Jacobite Syrian Church. Patriarch Messi granted full independence to the new Orthodox Church, including the right to appoint its own metropolitans and catholicos. The Jacobites who owed their allegiance to the Patriarch of Antioch did not accept the new catholicos, saying that Patriarch Messi had no authority to consecrate a catholicos for Malangara in 1912. The Orthodox Church support their own bishop based in Kottayam and do not consider the Patriarch of Antioch as their head. With the formation of two factions came the dispute regarding the ownership of several churches of the Malangara Church. After several conflicts in 1934, the constitution of the Malangara Church was drafted and formally adopted upon which the two factions combined. This constitution would be playing an important role in the future of both these factions. After yet another split the two churches reunified in 1959 but the truce lasted only until 1972 since then the two factions have been engaged in a battle over ownership of churches and their wealth attempts to settle ownership disputes out of court have often failed faction members have often clashed on the streets too and both sides have taken custody of several churches depending on which one has more muscle power The matter came before the Supreme Court on several occasions but on 3rd July 2017 the Supreme Court finally ordered that the control of several churches be given to the orthodox group The apex court held that around 1100 parishes and their churches under the Jacobite church should be controlled by the orthodox faction as per the 1934 Malangara church guidelines With this judgment the Jacobite faction lost its legal status as the Malangara Syrian church In August 2020 after refusing to implement the Supreme Court order for more than 2 years the Kerala government finally decided to go ahead and started taking control over several churches which will be finally handed over to the orthodox faction 
What is interesting is that despite having different heads, both the factions follow the same religious rites of worship. The dispute is only with regards to material possessions.